Doma High Tea Challenge is about bringing the tea back into high tea. Today, we careful effort has been made to respect the traditions and etiquettes of high tea. At the same time, we want to have a Kiwi spin on things, on the food, the beverages, and the setting before you. The whole idea of our afternoon tea was to be very classical English, but with a very modern twist. Our theme today is basically a fusion of New Zealand culture, incorporating Dilma teas and the Pacific Islands, what New Zealand is all about. Chef Burnduba has been on this real high tea journey from 2007, so I couldn't ask for a better reference judge. And of course, being a WAC certified judge, he brings that level of professionalism, the standards that WAX has brought to the real high tea challenge in taking it into a global championship. All my five senses were, were turned on. That's what it's all about. It's an art to do that, but yeah, you got there. The Dilma High Tea Challenge came about in 2007. Um, we want to put back into the high tea real tea. Dilma has reinvented the whole concept and have brought good tea, the world's best tea, with great varieties um, into the high tea. And to match the tea with the foods and actually have tea infused food uh, as well. Peter Kurovita, everybody knows Peter. So our goal is to re-establish the, the beauty of tea and also um, the reason for having a high tea. New Zealand was really unique, firstly the setting, we're in a beautiful place and I loved people bringing in the island theme. People were celebrating tapo and different parts of New Zealand so it was a real New Zealand pride really, it was great to see. What we were looking for in, the, in this competition, number one was, was brewing the perfect cup of tea and it's a lot harder than you'd think. There's a lot that goes into it, you need to stir it a few times, you need to make sure you cover it and look after it. Um, but on top of that, the tea needed to be made into a cocktail, a mocktail and then we needed to have a hot tea and a cold tea. Plus, we needed to have tea infused into food and tea paired with the food. Our theme today is basically um, a fusion of New Zealand culture with incorporating Dilma teas and the Pacific Islands, what New Zealand is all about. We're really trying to incorporate or bring out different elements of the tea that just by fusing together ingredients that people haven't tried before perhaps. The theme of Pacific Islands just came up as something innovative fusion that we could do that will take this high tea challenge to pushing the boundaries I suppose on what is high tea. Um, today our theme is Māori and Polynesia kind of mixed together. We have um, a Rewana bread. It's a traditional Māori bread which is fried in oil. Uh, we have that served with uh, our Moroccan mint tea. We have um, pinwheel sandwiches made out of taro bread coconut ganache cones. And up here we have lemon meringue lollipops. With uh, this menu we try to, um, we try to work with um, textures and aromas using the tea as well. We infuse the um, dry ice at the bottom with the tea. So when the hot water goes, you just get that instant brew and the flavor and the aroma comes through. Um, I liked your presentation. Simple, different, and it's really New Zealand, which I like. It's good to have something unique and something that looks at your heritage as well. Um, the bread, I've never had that bread before, I like it. I like that idea, you know you guys thought about trying to get some aromas as well, you're picking up on, on another sense which is really good because we're, we're eating and drinking so much it's nice to have a, a visual sense from the, you know, the dry ice but also the, the aromas as well. Tara Pinwheel, unique, haven't seen it. As I said, I normally hate taro, but it's pretty good in bread. And it was nice and soft. You've stuck to the traditional lines, but you, you've changed it. And that's what this competition's about. <coughs> Where the tea's concerned, yeah. uh, I think you did very well. I think the um, Dilma is, you know, really trying to revolutionise, I suppose, what it is. Because when you think of high tea, you really do think of the classic three-tiered stand. And um, what Dilma's doing is getting away from their comfort zone of what they do. The tea-inspired food, as Peter said, uh, very nice. The uh, Moroccan mint, the texture, the, the green tea note came through in the chutney. The rose with French vanilla macaroon came out uh, very nicely. The uh, coconut berry sensation fling, I really enjoyed. The gourmet Earl Grey liquid apple pie was uh, absolutely delicious. Um, generally, I think uh, your, your respect for tea was uh, very well presented. Oh, we have some pretty good comments. Um, 
Yeah, I was happy with the comments. Um, if you make um, an, an ice drink and you put ice cubes in it, try to make the ice cubes from the beverage. So you make your complete drink uh, and then you do the ice cubes from the, uh, from, from the drink so it doesn't dilute the drink and I can enjoy it from the first sip to the last one. Um, yeah, um, with the judges' comments, I was, um, I was pretty happy with them. There was a couple of things, that some feedback they gave me so I know what to work on for next year and even you know, other competitions involving this. Next medal, NZ2, silver. The idea of this Real High Tea Challenge is that it is a journey, a journey in terms of their awareness and understanding of tea, opening up the options. And so in stage one, which we have just completed, I think we can be satisfied that we have really achieved a very high standard of excellence.